In my work, I regularly meet people who say they have little or no self-confidence. And often that's because they've bought into one of the myths that are associated with low confidence. So here are four myths that you can discount as being untrue. The first of those is, you can't learn confidence. You've either got it or you haven't. Now clearly this is not true. Midwives aren't delivering babies saying, this will be a confident baby, this will not be a confident baby. The great news is, confidence is a process. It's a process you can learn, a process you can follow, and you can learn to build your own levels of confidence. Myth number two. If you lose your confidence, it's gone forever. Now we all lose our confidence from time to time, sometimes in quite dramatic fashion. I think it was Barbara Streisand, the singer, who once famously forgot the words at a concert. As a consequence of that, really traumatic incident for her, she lost her confidence and she didn't perform live again for many, many years. The good news is, if for some reason you do lose your confidence, you can get it back any time you want. Remember, confidence is a process. Myth number three. Clever and successful people are confident. Now, of course, there may be a correlation or appear to be a correlation on the surface between successful people and confident people, but actually that's often not as true as you might think. I was reading Bear Grylls' autobiography recently. Now, Bear Grylls is a TV celebrity, ex-Special Forces person, explorer, and he's climbed Everest. And interestingly, in his autobiography, he was talking about his levels of self-doubt. So there is not necessarily a correlation between successful people and confident people. In fact, I would argue the correlation is more likely to be successful people are better at appearing to be confident. They have the same doubts as the rest of us. And the final myth, myth number four, confident people are arrogant. Now, we can all be arrogant sometimes, and of course, confident people can play that card too far and appear to be a little arrogant. But if they're genuinely self-confident, they're probably going to be self-aware enough to pull back from that. Ironically, if somebody is being really arrogant, it may well be that they're trying hard to appear confident when actually they're not feeling confident at all. So these are four pretty straightforward myths that are plainly not true. But if you buy into them, they will start to eat away at your levels of confidence. And remember, confidence is a process. You can learn the process. In reality, the only person who decides your level of confidence is you.